Hi, I'm Dr. Bertie Sperry, and I want to tell you a story. I'm kind of excited about it, and my voice is a little bit raspy, and I have a headache, and it's because I was up all night, like all night, like till one, <laughs> watching um, the Enslaved uh, series. Um, it is amazing. I won't give anything away, but I will tell you this. There are so many stories that I have shared with you that are in that series. Like I've told you about my love for Rhiannon Giddens, the um, singer, musician, uh, Guggenheim winner, historian, scholar, fit, fiddle player. She's in it. Like she performs some of my favorite pieces of hers in this piece. Um, there are also other musicians that I love and chefs that I love. Um, there's, there's so many things. They went to so many of the places that I've lived, um, and told stories that I've even shared with you all. Um, like last week I shared the story of Harriet Tubman, which was in this area, helping 750 enslaved people escape. They tell that story. They tell the story of the shipwrecks. I've shared those with you. They tell the stories of Ohio and Georgia, South Carolina and Delaware. And they tell stories of um, like the amateur historians and divers, professional divers who dive to see at the bottom of the ocean floor, these shipwrecks and find pieces of Duff Blau, the Dutch uh, um, uh, ceramics and things that are there. It was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. Is it difficult to watch in the beginning? Um, but for someone who has studied this most of my life, it was just amazing to see in a series all of these things come to life um, from probably, I'll say no less than a collection of two, three hundred books that I've read. That there are pieces from that many books in this one series. Yeah, it's a whole series. Like, I think six, five or six episodes. Um, sometimes we want to look away because it, the story is difficult. It is a difficult story. But like with any story that tells the truth, there are people who did the right thing. There are so many people who did the wrong thing during that period of time. And all of the right questions are raised, questions you all have raised. They're there. This is just one series. I'm always excited when something that I've read about is um, put out for the larger masses to find and, and devour. But I also know that we come up against people, our feelings and our emotions um, that tell us we don't want to know anymore. Said no scholar ever. <laughs> it's not that I don't feel it. I, I feel it deeply. I feel it and I see it. Um, I spent 40 days reading nothing but narratives of enslaved people. I didn't talk to people much. I, I couldn't. And these stories were horrific. Stories, some that have been heard and most that have not. And during that period of time, I learned something really quickly. That folks got to freedom. And that if I kept reading, I would find out how they got to freedom. If I kept learning, I would find the stories of the people who went back into slavery to help others escape. And I would be able to use those stories as a blueprint for whatever I'm going through. A good deal of this period of time has been informed by that period of time. I read those narratives 
just in time for me to say, who are you going to be in the story? Are you going to be the person who stays and refuses to run? Who, who refuses to follow all logic to get to freedom? And in this case, it's as simple as wearing a mask and staying in unless you have to go somewhere. Avoiding crowds and things like that. In this instance, it's that. Who are you going to be? Are you going to be the people in disbelief who just spread lies and rumors? Are you going to be the people who cower in fear and say, Oh, I can't, I can't go out there. I'm out of no. That was a slave owner. Will you be the person who says, let me learn? Because in the learning, as difficult as it may be, I'm learning some things that I need for the future. I love you all. You all have become this part of my life that enables me to share whatever it is I know to get us all to a better place. And in return, you're giving me what you know to get to a better place. This is truly, truly joyful. It's difficult, but I see the future. I love you.